U.S. stocks, they're trading higher Thursday afternoon right here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange as investors continue to take in reports that there has been a ceasefire agreement between Ukraine and Russia starting on February 15th. Also on the economic front, retail sales figures for the month of January, they came in weaker than expected, down a total of 0.8%. And also we had jobless claims coming in at 304,000 last week. That was more than expected and an increase of 25,000 from the week before. While in the Forex markets, the U.S. dollar continuing to trade under pressure against its counterparts, we first take a look at the Euro-U.S. dollar pair, which is currently 0.69% higher at 114.07. We have the British pound to U.S. dollar market 0.89% higher at a read of 153.76, while the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair that is currently 1 and 3 quarters percent lower at a read of 118.72 yen. In focus right now for Trading Central analysts is the Australian dollar U.S. dollar pair, which is posting a rebound but stands below the resistance at 0.7745. As long as 0.7745 is the resistance, look for further weakness to 0.7620 and 0.7565 in extension. Moving on to precious metals, they continue to trade in a range. Right now, focus still on gold as it is under pressure and the relative strength index for gold sees a further decline. As long as 1233 is not broken, one can continue to favor further downside with targets at 121650 and 12 04 an extension and silver price is a little more than three quarters of a percent higher at a read of $16.89 a troy ounce and don't forget to follow trading central on twitter at the handle tc web tv for all of your forex market updates and for trading central web tv from the floor of the new york stock exchange i'm james swinney